and I was looking at the at some TMZ online. I don't know if we were talking about and, Ray Donovan. And they uh, what? <laughs> I said I don't know if we were talking about Ray Donovan. Go ahead. We were. Uh, <laughs> we were. Anyways. No, they're recording another season, man. You should hop on to that shit. That Bro, shit everyone's telling me new shows awesome. to hop on to. I'm about to jump on Game of Thrones. Oh, oh my God. God, no, what? I'm about to be one of those niggas, right? Dude, I have friends that, like, gather up all together in one room on Sunday to, like, watch this shit. Do you know about this show? Grown-ass men, like, 30 You know there's old. naked bitches on the show, right? So what? There's naked bitches everywhere. I know. But I'm saying, you can't really hate on the show when there's naked bitches on the show. I can hate it, dude. I don't know. I'm just not into the Naked bitches and I'm not, dragons. I'm just not into the dragons. I can't so you're like Lord of the Rings and on that shit. Toy Story. To read it, Jurassic yeah. Park. To read it, yeah, not to watch it. Jurassic Park? Not Toy really. Story? Never, never was a fan of uh, Jurassic Park, really. So what type of... The original what Jurassic, Jurassic Park, like? maybe. Okay, um, yeah. Like, just realistic movies. Like what? Any, just name any realistic movie. I don't know, Titanic. First movie that comes to mind. Oh, yeah, he would go back in the water. What do you mean? Like, to save people, like, when the ship's sinking, like, he'd go back into the little cages for some chick. Yeah. It's love, dude. Would it you? It could happen. Would you? For, like, my girl? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> I, Are you I, gonna I, leave her there to sink? It's not his girl. The chick is married to someone else. Yeah, no, but, like, it's, it's his girl. What are you gonna do if he, everyone survives? He, he fell. Just watch her go to somewhere else. Felt love, man. <laughs> all right, all right. You're, are you a hopeless romantic? No. Maybe half. Half. <laughs> <laughs> no. Maybe. Half Half and half? Half and half. <laughs> so you're 50% hopeless romantic. What's the other 50%? Yo, where are the romantic chicks at? What, what the fuck? They, um... Either they're the ones that never cheat or the ones that cheat on the niggas the most. They just fall in love. Like, constantly. imagine if your girl cheats on you, you can sue her. Dude. What? Yeah, if she cheats on you, boom. So, file a lawsuit. Em- uh, emotional distress, boom. Bro, you on pass. that shit lately, bro. Yo, fuck. No, I'm, like, I, like, I'm just saying. <laughs> that can fix a lot of things. You know what I mean? And if the guy cheats, she can sue the guy, too. Yo, for what? emotional distress, yo, boom. Yo. There you go. No more divorce. No, boom. What the fuck? The answer. So, wait, no. Now that means if we date anyone, we have to kill them. Nah, not dating. <coughs> like your wife. If you're married and shit. Oh, and married and yeah. you divorce them. Yeah. Oh, I not you Like if up. you're married and you're cheating on, and like you get caught cheating or something, you can sue that person. You know, you, you know, you get uh, of course, of course. Yeah. And wouldn't that be nice? For some Bitch, reason, you sucked in all like, this cock. Boom! You're about to pay me two hundred fifty <laughs> grand. You just said, and, I'm, and I'm gonna take your fucking the catatonic cow, right? state. I don't eh. give a fuck. What, what were you saying? And you're gonna take what? <laughs> <laughs> I said, and I'm gonna take your Tahoe. Damn, <laughs> she's rolling the Tahoe and the minivan. <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> you no more minivan for you. You're taking the Tahoe and the yeah. Honda Odyssey. God yeah. damn, homie. I'm filing a lawsuit. Oh, Whatever. You gotta oh, sleep bloody. downstairs now. And damn. they got a man cave. That's where she likes to you, sleep anyway. You, it's easy to suck like, dick when you're downstairs, you know. Yeah, because the gravity. Honestly, dude, you know, I was thinking today, faster. right? I would like I turned on this thing on, uh, I think it's on Discovery or mm-hmm. the Travel Channel, mm-hmm. where the guy builds tree houses, and dude, this guy built the sickest tree house. So I'm thinking, was it a cactus made out of a cactus? No, it was like some that crazy sucks. tree house, and I'm it's like, terrible. dude, if you can put like a man cave in a tree house, yeah, that'd be the best. Dude, thing before these out. tree houses are popular, that's what I always wanted. My mom and dad never got me one. Like, I would love a treehouse where I live in and then I rent out the actual house. Easy. Or the other way around. Any day of the week. Any Maybe the week. other way around. Because you could probably rent out the treehouse for way If you can make that treehouse into like a gaming room with a flat screen and a toilet, I'm living there. I don't care. A mansion. Not even a mansion. If I have like a super nice tr- like treehouse in the back of my house, I'll live in the treehouse and rent my house. Out. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Dude, I'll just live in the man cave. Big bedroom, big den. TV, computer. Wi-Fi, the fastest So pretty show. much you just want like a movie theater and a bedroom in the back. A bunk bed so you can have yeah. some bitches and yeah. a couple other dudes. Nah, probably a queen size, not even a bunk bed. I'll have a queen size bed for me. You, queen size, not a king? King's kind of big, but I take king. Yeah, but I mean, actually, like, yeah. what if you, I mean, actually, if yeah. you're having such a cool tree house, it's probably cool easy to get laid. Think about how low-key gets laid. 
He invites him over Tinder. to some. Not well, yeah, it's Tinder. But then he invites him over to a nice place. It's easy. Mm-hmm. What if you have the sickest treehouse ever? You Your be- bedroom on top of the movie theater. That type of shit. I like that. Yeah. Or like Tony's. Oh, dude, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh I gotta pee though. God. Hold on, hold on. I gotta pee. You killing it? Two, 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 yo, just talk to the camera. Talk to the camera. Uh, no, I'll talk. I'll talk. God damn. Sorry, I didn't mop my nigga. Sorry. All right. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm sad. All right, peeps. Oh man, we recorded some shorts. I went off about some shit, but you know the shorts. I just realized they're gonna be included in the main feed, so you you probably already heard it. <laughs> By the time this comes out, just got on iTunes. Actually, we've been on for two weeks. Didn't know for that second week, so been pushing up episodes on the Flash to give y'all some shit to listen to. It seems. There are actually people who are um, listening to it and uh, liking it, even though we got no downloads yet. But, you know, we're just sort of rolling out. We're nobodies, man. Nobodies. Damn, I look high as shit. Look at this nigga. What the fuck? Hold on. Man, I wonder if I would look higher if I didn't have glasses and I got LASIK or some shit. You know what I'm saying? I I don't know. It's that forty three. Yeah, you think you think you think I look higher if I didn't have glasses? No, always keep them on. Always keep don't them ever on. take them off. Do you think I get laid I easier if I take them off? No, the opposite. Don't do it. Cause I look way less threatening. You look way more chill with glasses. Just leave, leave them on. <laughs> <laughs> if you walk around with glasses, you would totally star fight. Or like, I no, used people to. would star fight with you. That's what happened to me all the time yeah. before. And what made you realize that, like, if you put glasses on, you look mm. way better? My homie told me. Yeah. And he's like, you know... He's right. He's like, you know... He's like, every little thing that you do, every face that you make without glasses, it's, like, so telling. Like, when you're just slightly disappointed in someone, it looks like you're fucking irritated as shit. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, no shit. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, you look at someone, like, with no emotion or even sort of smiling, it looks sort of threatening. Yeah. And I'm like, ah. Oh. But he's like, when you're with glasses, you just look like a nice guy. You just look like a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, he's got like, a point. I know, but dude, I've been doing boxing and shit lately, okay? Look, look, my hand, it's not too bad right now. It's been shaking and stuff just to carry anything. But, um... <laughs> It's just bad. I love that feeling when you're like, dude. It was yeah. Shit. Like I like, I was like paying with like a dollar earlier, and it was like, <laughs> really? I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, it was crazy. But um, dude, I I train without my glasses, right? And so, if I fight someone, I always had to take my glasses off. If you I play were, ball, yeah, of like I always need a different pair of glasses or yeah. some shit. So it's like I'm yeah. never with like. 100% of my eyesight and I don't like to wear contacts so then I was like oh maybe LASIK but I would have to I would have to get LASIK and wear fake glasses that's what you're saying I'd have to get LASIK yeah, no, 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 fuck and that. wear fucking fake glasses I could have gotten LASIK but I'm not getting it fuck that how bad are your eyes not that bad I'm legally blind are you yeah like what's your vision it's past 2200 there's no reason to even check after that it's 2200 like if I'm looking at you like if we, if I just came in here, this is a new place, and you didn't say anything, I wouldn't notice you. Uh-huh. I have to go out there. Oh, no okay, way. What's up, Tony? No way. Yeah. Might even be closer than that. Right no there. No way. Yeah, right there, right there. What? So from there, you can't really see who I am? I mean, I could tell that you're there. Yeah. If I need to punch you in your face, I yeah. could. Yeah. I could tell, like, major things, but I can't tell you the details of you. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's why my hearing and shit's usually pretty decent or whatever. Very cool. And other shit, because I'm, like, oh. I'm blind as a bear. I had no idea you were legally blind. Mm. Wait, does it say that on your license? No, it just says I need glasses. Because legally blind is like, it's like a colloquial term. It's not like I'm blind. I'm blind. legally blind. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can video? do a lot of shit. I'm like, legally blind? Huh? Have you seen the I'm legally blind video? Nah. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh no. 
I probably this haven't watched it. This is the most viral time. video of like last year or the day before or the year before that. All right, I might. I'll check it out. Let's check it out. It's called "I'm Legally Blind, Dude." This fucking. I'm not even gonna explain it to you. You're just. I'll find it. I'll find it. You're just gonna have to fucking find it. Dude, I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's fucking hilarious. Dude, I know all what the viral videos. What if like. I find it offensive you found it hilarious. Like, I'm just like, this is my life, man. No, okay, this let me set life, it up God. for you. So, like, the police are in, uh, interviewing this girl <laughs> that's coming out of the police station. Hank of the police are, like, taking her into a cop car. And she was the getaway driver for, for like, a bank robbery, right? And, like, the reporter's like, so, like, like, what did you do? Like, you know, you're getting accused of, like, being the getaway driver. She's like, the, get- the getaway driver? How can I drive? I'm legally blind. <laughs> I'm legally blind. I can't drive. Is this real or is this a It's skit? a real video. This chick, like, you can look this up. She's like, literally, she's like, I'm legally blind. <laughs> How can I drive? I'm legally and blind. Like, and they're like, what? We're like, okay, but the other people in the car said that you were the driver. He goes, huh? Hey, you kid. Huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, well, I can only speak for myself. <laughs> I'm legally blind. I can't drive. I swear, dude. If you see this video, you're gonna die laughing. When I first saw it, I was like, Yo, that that huh? It. I give some people She's that like, huh sometimes. Huh? Like, huh? 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 Yeah, it's like huh. Like, huh? Are you serious? Huh? What? Usually, when people give me a question, I don't want to answer. Huh? Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Sir, but all the rest of the people in the vehicle said you were commandeering the vehicle. Huh? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm legally blind. Dude, I swear, I'm, this I'm chick is all like tattooed dude. all over the face. Like, hats everywhere. Oh, super, chick. super hood. Yo, but she's like half man, half woman. And the reporter calls like, <laughs> calls her a him. She's like, I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could play it. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm a woman. <laughs> I swear. I'm a woman. <laughs> I can't drive. How am I supposed to drive when I'm legally blind? <laughs> <laughs> and the cops are, like, in the background, like, laughing, bro. <laughs> They're like, this is like, she's serious right now. Sorry, you were the getaway it. driver. I had to text the chat. Is some shit. Is he going to fucking step out of his house and join you ever? I'm going to have to join in there. One of these Oh, days. it's one of those. Maybe see if I can get it restarted. Get his shit. Or or pull him out of the house. He's down to do yeah. that too. And if he does come down here, then I'm definitely scooping you or some shit. Oh, yeah. Making the shit. Yo, yo we would have recorded at my house today, but out of nowhere, I, I, dude, there was like mad random people like at my house. There was That's no what always happens. And, and, they, love, and they, they're not even my friends. And they hate, yeah, some of them. What? Some of them hate you. Who? Amir. Definitely. <laughs> I don't know why, though. He came by today, dude. He's a racist He's fuck. super annoying. Super annoying guy, man. Just like him. I don't know. He, he like, gives off this bad vibe. Yeah. Like a terrible vibe. I'm not about that no more. Anybody who gives me that vibe, I'm, before I'd be like, oh, let's give him a fair shake. I'm like, nah. There's too many things to fucking lose and there's too many people to meet. Like, if I don't fuck with you, fuck you. My first sign, the first feeling I've had about everybody has almost always been correct. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, look Yo, easy. Yo, first impression. Like, he's a fucking low. idiot. Look. Look easy. <laughs> That's funny how we came up with that name. Low key easy. Actually, he came up with it himself. Low key. That's him. Fucking low key. Think about how smart these guys think they are. They're like, oh my god. This fucking idiot doesn't know about this thing about the throw. Like, what is he dumb? <laughs> I just want to be like nigga. He loves to see you succeed, but low key he doesn't. <laughs> low, low key, low key, loves he to doesn't. be the key to success, but low key he isn't. Yeah, man. What um? Fuck. What do you have planned this weekend? Dude? Um. Well, the one thing on Sunday, uh, then tomorrow probably. What's going on Sunday? I gotta go to downtown Phoenix to see that uh, law guy. Oh, okay. Right, right. Um, what else? On Saturday, on Saturday, what am I doing on Saturday? I don't know, man. I kind of want to go hiking if you're down. 
Do they maybe go for a little hike? No? Saturday? Yeah, maybe. I might be down. Wait, is that tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I might be down. Depends on how fucking shitty my legs are. I did legs today. Oh, you're one of those. One of those! Wait, what do you mean? A person who works out? No, like, oh, yeah, my like, legs hurt, man. I can't go out. I hit sore can't, sometimes after I do legs. Crib. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Dude, I, I actually had shit. friends like that. Tomorrow is my rest like, day. Yo, like, rest I worked on legs yesterday, and I can't move today, dog. You're going to have to come here. That happens to people, but they're idiots. They're just weak. Yeah, they I move around, but I, if I need to rest, like, I don't want to work out some more because I fucking did legs and boxed. So, uh, tomorrow is supposed to be my planned rest day. A.K.A. maybe eat a whole pizza to myself. Yeah. I don't know. Probably not. How do you eat a whole pizza to Oh, I if can't. you do eat a whole pizza to yourself, you gotta eat the barbecue chicken one at California Pizza Kitchen. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was CPK? I told you. It was just like the Domino's, right? Nah. The barbecue chicken pizza was super good. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, it's sort of like the same type of shit. I, I don't you. know. It's better than Domino's. I th- yeah, I think it's a little better. But. No, it's better than Domino's, but hey, that type of Hey, topping, she paid for it. It was nice. That type it's of It's the topping. first time somebody paid for me like that in a while. Oh, my God. Yeah. Are you falling back in love with her? No. I'm like, I, I'm just saying that I've... I don't remember <laughs> the last time a girl paid for, to have dinner with me. It's usually the other way around. Yeah. No, right? Yeah, yeah. When's the last time a girl took you out? I'd be like, baby, I got you. You ordered the fucking works. Steak, right. whatever you want, DJ. My ex and me used to go back and forth, actually. How many years ago was that? <laughs> <laughs> like, two? Shit. Oh! Does it, does, it, does it count if it's your friend who's your girl? No. No. Like, like your girl, girl. No, I mean, this chick wants to get with me, but I don't want, I don't want to get with her. Oh, God. But she paid for my meal. No way. What kind of meal? You know those... Uh, <laughs> I feel that's sort of bad. <laughs> you know those crab boil places? Yeah. That It was like one of those. I forget. It's not It's not the hot and spicy seafood ones. The, the crawfish? Ones. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Of when course. they cook in the bag. Yeah. The crawfish. Yeah, it was it's like crawfish. Crab, it's no, no, they have crab too. Oh, really? Yeah, they have whatever seafood. Yeah. Um, this one, I forget what it's called, man. It's one of the, mo- it's one of the two popular ones out here. Joe's Crab Shack? Nah, bro. Um, even though I think they have some form of that, it's uh, it's like literally a bag boil, bro. Do you even know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's a bag, and you boil it. I've seen yeah, it before. Okay, okay. I've ordered uh, I've ordered crawfish from Louisiana before too. Oh yeah, they, they do that. They do like that, and they deliver it like that. Yeah, I'm sure. They wait. So they like cook it there and bring it through frozen. No, dude, it it's alive. They bring you live fucking crawfish. They. <laughs> They deliver One day it to deliver you. it? Yeah. Do they ship it? Yeah. One day ship. And One then they day cut. ship, and then like, when you get them, you know, you obviously have to ice them, and then you fucking cook that shit. So you like seafood? All types of food. Me too. Everything. Does it turn you off when chicks aren't into that? Yeah, oh my god, these vegan chicks? Oh my god, I can't. I can't do it. I know these two these chicks fucking are fucking hippies so are ruining it for vegan. everybody. I'm vegan. But I eat fish. Like what? A pescatarian. Well, I, I eat, I'm vegan, but I eat, I eat chicken. Like, what the? How fuck? does that make sense? I don't get that. What There's the people fuck? like that. The, what? Like, yeah. The fuck is the point of being vegan then? I don't get this shit. In in today's day and age, you can claim to be something you're not and get away with it. Oh so. my god! Isn't that what almost everyone does now? No. Should people in text act like they fucking? The fucking that nigga. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then when they fail to realize, I'm that nigga. I'm that nigga. That's funny. It's crazy. Funny. People be breaking promises to themselves, man. And yeah. to other people. Your word, what you do, man. I know, man. These guys are fucking... That's all that you're worth in the essence. Damn, man. Because you could just... Deep. You could say whatever you want. Everyone says whatever you want, but... Most people don't come through. That's why it's funny. Like, I will make plans with a lot of people. And I plan nowadays for most of them not to come through. Like, half of them, like, I'll just double book people. Because I know one person's not coming <laughs> double through. Double book. No, seriously. They're like, it's it's hey, like an airline. Hey, let's meet double at four. Book. Oh, I'd like to talk to you about this thing at four. Okay, for sure. I'll tell everyone. Okay. And then if they're, like, serious, then I'll apologize and either tell them I'm running late or reschedule. 
and until I know that they're consistently serious. Mm-hmm. Then they'll take my time and I'll be on point. But come on, so many motherfuckers say, oh, I got you on this, man. Let's work on this project. Let's do this. All right, I'm going to see you at 2.30 on, on Tuesday, man. That's only tomorrow. We got this. You hit them up at 2. Yo, we good for that? No answer. 4 o'clock Wednesday. Like, Yo, no what's answer. up, man? What happened? What? What happened? <laughs> I know what no, you mean, f- though. Yeah. I, like, you, you know what you did, nigga. Yeah. Stop even playing them games. Yo, what happened, bro? Fucking Wally was trying to uh, butter me up. He was like, uh, "You, you." He literally tried to butter me up. He was doing, trying to do some bullshit. He was like, "Hey, you ever uh, eat anything with cannabis butter?" I was like, "Yeah, man." He's like, "Oh, okay, for sure, for sure." Would you trade uh, cannabis butter for weed sometime? I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "Nice way to butter that question up, man. No pun intended, you dummy." Literally, that's what they said. I didn't say the dummy part. I said, but yo, nice job with that, homie. Trying to butter me up. Butter you up. I was like, up. this is what you should do next <laughs> time. I'm a businessman. Just ask me. Yeah. Don't come with me some questions. Don't come with the low-key lonely. Like, you need a fucking favor. You need a ride or some shit. And be like, where you at right now? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, cool. What, 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 are you at? what are you up to later? About an hour. Oh, okay, cool. Where are you? Are you are you gonna, you're going to be in this area? You're going to pass for this area? All right, cool. I, I need to ride down to the shell so I can grab some blunts. What the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? You know, I'll <laughs> after that. You, yeah. Oh. That was a minute of my time. I'll never get back. I dreaded the whole conversation with you. Oh, God. God. God uh, damn. If, if you help me go get a cigar... We can go halves on a blunt. If we go halves on a blunt. Oh, 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 thank you, sir. Thank you, Prince. I, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I, I I actually can't come to help you with that. What? What? How do you not get it, bro? Yeah. I'm busy, nigga. You want a fucking favor? I'm busy. Go fucking smoke your weed or do whatever the fuck you have to do. I'm over here, man. I'm over here, man. I'm over here recording man. nonsense, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here doing big things like fucking chilling my man Tolly. Dude. Recording nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> Smoking that cheese. Occasionally drinking some Occasionally. caffeine. Yeah, we should we should get um drinks again. Like we did that first time you were here. That was awesome. What do you mean? You remember that we were drinking 151 and like ruined my whole night, but it was a probably awesome show. Yeah. I can't wait till I go back and listen to it. That 151, I completely forgot. Oh about my it. god, you brought this much? It yeah, it like... definitely ruined both of our lives. Yeah, dude. I, was like, I got pretty <laughs> fucked up with that. Oh, I, I didn't drive... Like, for three whole days after that. I was like, I can't. Come pick me up! <laughs> Yo, are you going to let all that melt? Dude, how, how do you let, like, all that ice melt, dude? I would drink the coffee so fast. Maybe that's my problem. I just drink my coffee too fast. I think that is your problem. Oh, fuck, I got See, what well, you got mom, Dude, my mom, like, eats very fast. It's funny. I've noticed it, and I get that from my mom I'm, for I'm, sure. I'm, I'm with the eating fast thing now. Because it cooling down like makes it worse, right? With cold drinks, I like to have it cold. But with coffee, I want it cold. Like, I'm going to start drinking it sort of quickly now. But, because I hate when it sort of warms up. But, it's okay if it gets a little watered down. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm-hmm. like, it's just straight black coffee. <laughs> it's already watered down because they throw it on top of ice. So, mm-hmm. it, like, instantly melts some anyway. So, it melting a little bit is actually what keeps the temperature sort of the same. So, it's okay for it to melt a little bit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But once it's, like, completely melted, I have to smash it. So, three pumps of the vanilla you get? Sometimes I get zero. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I get two. I got three today. That's feeling dude, frisky. I, I remember, dude, I used to just drink my coffee just straight black. Just no sweet or nothing. Hot? I like hot. it. But I, like, I like to drink like that. Like just Chinese? regular black? I tried this as we smash black coffee. And he goes and takes hot? three pieces of fucking show. Hot? Yeah, we, we drink hot black coffee. He takes three pieces of show. I hold out somehow for like two or three shows. That's No weird. way. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like your bladder is fucking huge. I know, but when I start drinking alcohol, I don't need a piss. Oh, yeah. And then all Once the you break the seal, that's it. I don't really have that seal issue. I guess it's more seal. like... It's Especially more like, with beer, dude. Like, yeah. Once I start peeing with beer, Yo, over. Dude. Game over. Let's go out tonight. Let's do something. Uh, maybe. Maybe, a, maybe just drink at your house. I'll, uh, mm, I'll crash. I might be done. I gotta yeah, see. Yeah, cool. I gotta see what the deal is. I don't know. 
Maybe. There's going to be a lot of Xanax going on at your house. No. I don't Clip. think so. Oh, yeah. Cliff's going to be on at least five. He's going to be chilling tonight for sure. Friday? You think Cliff is going to make enough money he's going to get the gastric bypass? The gastric bypass surgery? I told him that I'm going to start working out with him once he moves out. He, he's, um, he's probably at the, the right at the start of the morbidly obese range. Mm, yeah. Would you agree? It's amazing. Yeah, he's a big actually. boy. It's sort of amazing. The, yo, depression. Definitely. No, I I spoke to him. No, yeah. He had a very he had like a big falling out with like, with his job. Yeah, say. with like an employer. Was former it the, employer. Oh, it's not his. Uh, former, they don't know. No, it's the no, same no, employer. Saying, but like. No, but it's the same employer he's yeah. at now. Big falling out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he got super depressed over that. Gained so much weight. It's fucked up. Dude, and the secret is, bro, drink a lot of water, exercise 45 minutes to an hour and 15 a day. Yeah. Relax, do some yoga, and eat right. That's it. Eat right is the main thing. But also, he, for him, he needs to move around and get some exercise. The, cl- the clip show. Because uh, once you get that big, like, you don't have, like, enough muscle. You need to, like, kickstart your metabolism, I think. So you need to start building some muscle by moving around, mm-hmm. you know? How long do you think it would take him? I would think it would take him eight months. If you really tried. I think it's going to take him two years. Eight months to a year. He's not going to be able to make those changes and stick to them. You have to think. How, how overweight do you think he is? I think he might be 200 pounds overweight. I don't know, dude. You think he's, you think he's pushing 400? I think he's like pushing. I think he's pushing. Three forty. It's a lot. So maybe not two hundred pounds. That's a lot. I mean, I when I look at him, it's hard to say. But at the same time, I, like the way that that fat gets, it's like hard. It's like low, sort of layers on. Mm-hmm. You know. Like, what's he a big? So, like, I bet you if you poked him, it's not, like, jello. It's, like, sort of hard fat. Mm-hmm. So, it's, like, dense. Mm-hmm. And he's a big boy. He's a big boy. How tall is he? Not that tall. 5'9", maybe 5'. Maybe 5'10". Maybe His five weight ten. pulls him down a little bit. Yeah, gravity takes over. But, dude, he's sure. huge. I know. Fuck. I mean, he's so big, like, I don't even know if he could jack off. <laughs> Do you feel me? Yeah, man. Uh, that's a scary thought. <laughs> like, he might have a 7-inch dig and still might not be able to jack off. My God. You think he can see it? No. Oh, my God. Oh, my. The, he probably can't even suck his gut enough or reach a position where he can actually see his dick. He might have to Snapchat himself his own dick. To make sure it's, like, the same color. It normally is or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> what? Like, when I was larger, bro, when I was what? larger, when I was larger, I realized that I couldn't see my dick when it was soft and that I could barely see my toes. And I, I gained most of my weight on my stomach, right? I'm like holding it right now. Like it's a baby. <laughs> Five months per go. But, but... But when it was hard, I could see, but I was like, okay, so, like, that, when I started losing the weight, that's when I was like, oh, shit, I didn't really see, like, my feet feet, like, easy. Mm-hmm. There is no way homie's seen this dick. He, oh, God. It's so fucked up. How does that happen? Don't you think, like, once you stop seeing your dick, you're like, all right, I need to stop, or my no, people some people, gender? No, some people are just like, fuck it, I'm already, like. I'm so I'm far, done. I'm so far past the fucking. <laughs> past the I'm line. fucking done. I'm done, dog. <laughs> Give me this fucking big man. Hit me with that. Hit baby. me with the fries. Yeah. <laughs> that milkshake, large, with the whipped cream and the strawberry yeah. on top. No fuck. You know what? My homie said something about a shamrock shake a while back. Yeah, my He's not my homie anymore, but I still want to try it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Loki lonely doesn't want a shamrock shake, but. Loki, he does. <laughs> but Loki, he, he does. does. I'm in love with the go-go. Yeah, that fool blew up. I heard he can actually rap, but he dumbed it down like a motherfucker. 
Of course. That's you know? what you have to do. Yeah, like, you know, Cassidy, like, yeah. I could not believe that he could rap after the Everybody come to my hotel. Everybody yeah, and I was like, yeah, it's like, I was like, okay, this song's okay. This guy's an okay rapper. And then it was like, Cassidy destroys freestyle in one of the first YouTube video battles. Like, what? Let me check this. Oh, with uh, Freeway? Yeah, Freeway. And it's like, oh, shit. He sort of did get him. Poor bastard Freeway. He should have took the fucking stupid. L train. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, that, yeah, 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 yeah. You killed it, bro. <laughs> What if Freeman was about to hit us to get on the show, dog? Oh, no, I'm just kidding, Freeman. Oh, me. We are here, man. We're the young bucks. Freeman, come, come, come through for a battle against Tolly here, Yo, aka T Money Malone. Yo. Yo, T Money Malone got them bars, though. Dude, Anyone man. see if that I, shit? Yeah. I'm about to book a nigga. <laughs> Dude, they don't want none of that. Bro, that was the hardest shit, bro. That was pretty hard. I was so hard. How could I almost forget about that, man? I can't wait until that shit comes out. That's coming out soon. What the hell was that? Someone yeah. hitting a whistle. Probably some hell? dog shit. I know, right? It sounded Somebody like... hitting a whistle? If this was London, we'd probably be running. Because that sounded like the old Dude, school London whistle. Dude, London might elect a fucking Muslim mayor? Oh, is that how they're going to keep the fucking... I'm not sure, but like that's what I run online. It's weird. Yeah, it's definitely a whistle. It's a kid screaming. Nah, it's a whistle, dog. It's one of the whistles with the rattle. Oh. What? Is- that was a terrible lost impression, I thought. But yo, no, yeah, that's. Are they doing that so that they can like negate like Muslim attacks? I have no idea, man. I, that I don't even know if it, if it's true. But yo, I wanted to ask you. I spoke to my little brother today. He's ten years old. He says he already played Grand Theft Auto and beat it. So it. I'm like, why is he even playing the game? Like, dude, I told my dad and my stepmom to not to let him play the game, and like my dumbass cousin. Decides to get him Grand Theft Auto okay. as, as like a present. You know, oh, I want to be the cool cousin. I'm gonna get him the, the newest cool, one. The new, the newest one where you smoke weed, fuck prostitutes. You know that. Yeah, one. and you just like do yeah. a bunch of drugs, steal cars, kill a bunch of people. Yeah, yeah, like that's not having any effect on him, right? Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, Kids maybe, are not supposed to maybe be it's here. not as bad as we think. There's some effect, dude. You can't let a ten year old be exposed to that to that much violence. Yeah, it might no be way. Really young, hundred percent. Right. Probably wait like three, four years. Fifteen years old. 15. Even though he's I a man I would monitor what... Dude, I would monitor what he plays at, like... Even though he's a man at 13? Yeah, I'm not buying Grand Theft Auto. If he goes and makes some money himself, he can buy that shit all, all he all wants. Day. I'm not buying that game. Oh, no, that's I'll tell point. him, you want to go fucking buy the game? Go fucking work for it. So if someone else bought it, you'd be like, nah, fuck No way, yeah. I would fucking return it like, immediately. Only he's buying it or I'm buying yeah. it. Yeah. Gotcha. No, I dig that. It's Raising cool. children is sort of crazy, so I'd love to hear what other people have to say about that. No, dude, he's a little badass motherfucker, dude. He's super manipulative, like, when it comes to my parents. Like, uh, he's a little manipulative little bastard. He, like, knows... Loki he, lonely in him? Loki's no, in him? No, no, he's way smarter than Loki. No, but he I'm saying he's is. trying to work that type of pattern. Because, you know, yeah, because, like, my like my stepmom goes to work, and, like, he's just left with the nanny, and the nanny's, like, also super easily manipulated by yeah. me. Cause like she'll just be like she'll cook him like food, cut him up some meat. He's like, just, I'm not gonna eat this. He just <laughs> looks at the plate. I'm not gonna eat this. Like make me something else. And I'm like, listen, okay. First of all, a ten year old kid oh, that's already big. It's not. He's not a regular ten year old. He's like a ten year old in the body of like a twelve year old. He's a big kid. Yeah. No, he's super smart. <clears throat> so I'm like, get rid of this fucking nanny. You need an authoritarian woman there. A woman like an old teacher that teached in Russia, you know, because like your a, teachers are authoritative figures. Like a, like a, like you can't get anything past her. Like, like Mrs. Sh- Doolittle or what's it? What's that one? Um, Miss, uh, Miss Doubtfire. Like that. Yeah. You need a, a woman that'll Bossy. hold shit down. Hold like, shit down. cause in a Russian school, like the first, second, third, fourth graders. Yeah. You go through school with the same teacher until high school. Yeah. And oh, like she's a boss. Wait, teachers get batches of kids. Yeah, and, ch- and what the fuck? Yes. They teach every grade then. Yeah, until uh, until high school. And then they they get new first graders or whatever. Yeah. So twelve. I mean, years. a lot of times they just retire and shit. But like, yeah. Oh, so they wait, could. They get one batch of kids and they retire in Russia. They could. Yeah. So twelve years and then. I mean, not twelve. No, they probably oh, maybe won't two retire batches after kids. twelve. No, they probably but get they, two batches of kids. But yeah, they'll literally. Raise the kids the whole way. Yeah. 
I like that. Yeah. That's like another parent. Yeah, and like she holds shit down. Oh, they're way stronger oh, than dude, the parent. Oh, holds it down. These these women, and they're like older women, like 50s. Oh, you know? they know what to do. They fucking hold it down, dude. A kid can't get away with anything. No, because, dude, especially since yeah. she's been holding you down since like you were six. Exactly. Like she's exactly. just holding down. And it's down, mostly like, women. Yeah. Usually. Oh, man. Yeah. That's fucking smart. Yeah, dude. So, like, I keep telling my dad, I'm like, Dad, th- like, these are the type of women that you need to bring into the house so they can watch this kid because he's super smart. Like, he's very manipulative. He's kind of spoiled. Yeah. And, like, if he doesn't get his way, he kind of freaks out. He's going to be you looking lonely in Russia, like, dude. You oh, can't no, let that dude, happen. But the thing is, I see through it. Like, he's he can't be like that with me. No, I know, but I'm saying... If he's doing to other people, it doesn't matter if your family yeah. sees through. It's what he does with his life by himself that's yeah. important. But he's good without like with like with other kids, kind of. He he's just at home, like he's super smart, dude. Because yo, but, like yeah. my dad, being smart can be like dangerous. my dad talks to him like he's like a like a mm-hmm. like a grown up already. I wouldn't say that's the best thing to do, but like my dad talks to him like a grown up. That's how and my dad he's always just talks to us. Su- He's just way smarter than every single kid in school, and he's bored in school. Yeah. He doesn't do that well because he's super bored. He's like, like, he's like, Dad, I'm looking at the board, and it's like one plus one. Like, I'm, God, like, so I'm in first. Like, he's like, I'm like, I'm in first grade. Like, one plus one. Like, we're doing the alphabet, really. Like, he's just what super is- bored. He's just he's bored in yeah. school because, dude, like the way that like he hangs out, like he always hears everything my dad says and my stepmom saying, and like you know, they like they know a lot of people. They always take him places and shit. And he's super smart. Yeah, and he talks like he's like 13, 14 years old. He doesn't talk That's like he's awesome. 10 years old. But yeah, dude, you gotta hold shit down. You need a what like a fucking strong ass woman in there Remember that'll that? tell yeah. him like, hey, listen, if you didn't get back in your fucking room, I'm gonna take off the belt. Yeah. And once the belt comes off, it's not coming back on for the very least. Wait, do Russian minutes. teachers are they allowed to beat the children? No. no, no, no. Hit them? No, no. In India, they're allowed to hit. I mean, unless the parent tells him, like, hey, in he, India, he need, like, a teacher will give a kid a smack, a smack on the head, or, like, a smack on the arm. Well, in the schools I went to in India? Yeah. Oh, so you will get a smack on the head and arm. You could. I mean, you could, but it's it's not Rare. that common. Yeah, it's not that common. But they, in India, what happens in the schools, and I, only because I was American did they mm-hmm. not do it, even though one teacher tried to step to me and I just laughed. I was like, I'm American. You don't want any of these problems. That just shut down. Because mm-hmm. I was a smart, crazy kid, too, sort of. But but I, I was really good at school. Yeah. I was just, like, following the rules. So I just did all that. But if you mess an answer, you stick your hand out, and the teacher takes a ruler and hits you as hard as you can on, along your knuckles. Whap! For all the wrong answers. That's fucked. Yeah, no, I don't, I, that they, doesn't happen. I don't know if they still do that now, but I'm pretty sure they do. No, no, and so yeah, that's what I'm saying is, out here people be complaining about homework in schools. When over there you like raise your hand to answer a question or you get picked on, and if you miss the answer, you get hit. That's the uh, that's not good. That is not <laughs> the best way to do that. <laughs> this is the. You think they still do that? I think they probably do from the area I'm from. In China, they do that for sure. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Dude, those motherfuckers are crazy in China. Indian Asians are Dude, taking it to another level. In China, when it comes to discipline, we take it to another level. You know, I'm disciplined for an American, but if if an Asian was to break it down, they'd be like, "He lacks so much discipline." Yo, all, all those Chinese guys, right? Like, yeah. there's a lot of single dudes in China. Like, I've read this crazy statistic online. Right? There's like a lot of single guys. I heard there's not that many women. That's yeah, why. Yeah, there's like there's some crazy shit going on. Yeah, right? like not that many they guys. Killed a lot of so women. like, dude, like. I'm just thinking, like, what, like, what's gonna happen to these guys when they're like thirty, like forty years old, like thirty, forty? They have no women in their lives, bro. They're gonna go nuts. That's Dude, they're gonna like it. maybe like they're like, I don't know. No, because the, the, people don't act right. No, I know. But you're women. forgetting. You're forgetting, bro. Yeah. That there's a thing called human trafficking. Yeah. And brides to buy mm-hmm. or whatever they call them. Mail order brides. Mm-hmm. That's what they'll do. Well, yeah, but I'm like I'm just saying. No, because like other countries around like a regular have guy, a lot of women, like a regular guy in China, right? Just because all they do is work there, right? I yeah. mean, what like what else are they gonna? They literally work all day long. Mail order brides, everybody. Mail order by perfect. Dude, a lot of but dude, a lot of these guys like they don't get mail order brides. They just they literally stay single 
forever. Well, that's what they want. But no, but dude, I feel like you think that can have a negative effect on them. Like maybe in like 20, 30 years, bro, these guys, like these guys are gonna are gonna go fucking nuts. And they're gonna have well, some like, saying, crazy I militarization, like, maybe. Maybe, but I feel they just like take the, them all into the army or something. I don't know, dude. Like, maybe, dude, just imagine. I know, but what I'm saying no is, women, you're before not it gets crazy, because yeah. they will go crazy even before it gets that crazy. Yeah, they're gonna order mad brides and get into human sex trafficking, yeah, which they're already. Money. Where are you gonna get the money from? It's kind of expensive to get a mail order bride. No, nah, watch, never watch as the demand but... increases over there that the price drops. Oh, you yeah. can only sell whatever you can get. There's probably some dirty. Old, whatever. They'll get their pussy dog. There's prostitutes everywhere, man. And they're affordable in more places like that. I heard, like, you can get a fucking girlfriend experience in, like, Macau, which is, like, the Vegas in China. I know Macau. For, yeah. like, 70 whatever units of their money, which is nothing. Over here, you might get, like, an escort like that for four hours for, like... 500 an hour. Maybe a thousand. Yeah, 500 an hour. Maybe a couple thousand yeah. dollars. So, all I'm saying is, like, I don't know if we even understand the money and what's out there. Because there is a lot of sex trafficking already going on. Yeah. And there's a lot of prostitution, a lot of parlors where they're rubbing fools' sticks off. Already, this is cool. Like, Asians, yeah. are, a lot of them are cool Dude, with that. Do you know how many of those they have in northern New Jersey? These massage so parlors many, are sure. everywhere. They're all over. I mean, even out here there's some. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Making money. Sex, they understand in China, like, the dudes need to get off. These dudes are getting off somehow. They have crazy porn over there. Mm-hmm. Especially in Japan. Japan. And they're doing the damn thing. I'm I'm feeling before they go completely crazy, they're just gonna rape and and mail order brides and all sorts of shit. <laughs> <laughs> rape some, and mail order brides. Some sort of combination or one form one of all the above. I wonder what the most searched name in porn in China is. Or like what's the main search thing like on Pornhub in China. It's probably like Jenna Jameson still. They probably Wikipedia. <laughs> Chinese Jenna Jameson. <laughs> Do you think that Oh shit! Yeah, because other countries have porn. I guess they're not even looking at American porn. Probably no way. Those Japanese people are looking at like crazy porn right here. Yeah, I heard most of the porn is like rape porn and shit. Porn. Oh, that's fucking disgusting. Rape porn. Yeah, where the girls pretend to get raped, and they're like really crying somehow. I remember this porn. That's story. what I heard. I haven't watched it. This porn guy by the name of Max Hardcore got arrested. This full so smart. Okay, so like he did some crazy scene where like the girl, like it looked like the girl was getting raped. He was just super rough with her. But, oh fuck! And like, they actually ended up arresting him over that. Like the cops. But he got there, out. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think like maybe he might have performed it in, in like in a state that doesn't allow that. Maybe he. Perform- I don't know something uh, like that. But he actually ended up going to jail. For making this crazy like dude, Max Hardcore. You you no, probably I heard, heard the name. name. Yeah. You probably heard the is name. Is he old dude? He's an older guy. Maybe. He, he was actually on the Howard Stern show. Yeah, yeah, that's probably how I know. Max him. Hardcore, dude. It's... It was after he got out of jail? Yeah. Yes. But, oh, I'm sure they talked about it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but dig, dig, dig. The, dang, the dang, best episode on the Howard Stern show was his, um, was Tiger Woods' mistress contest. Tiger dude, Woods' uh, I, bikini I, contest. I, I... <laughs> you didn't like it? No, I would just YouTube Howard Stern because I just like... When I go to sleep or some shit, listen to some shit, and that was what popped up, and I clicked on it, and I went to sleep to that last night. It's funny, but I couldn't see the chicks. I didn't see them. Oh, they're hot. Smoke shows. Are they the real mistresses? Yeah. 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 You know how many like uh, famous porn stars started or were like on the Howard Stern show before they're famous? Bro, that is the ticket. What do you mean? Yeah, like Howard, I think Asa, that. Akira, and Lisa Ann were on before they were even porn stars, I think. Of course. So, yeah. like, how's that even? Lisa like? Ann is smoking hot. Holy she is pretty shit. bad. All these girls. Dude. I hear Lisa Ann is like one of the main ones. What do you mean? I hear she's like the matriarch porn star. Like, okay. She's, she's retired. I know. Okay, so, like, let's say you're, like, an athlete, right? And you're trying to get the scoops on some girl. Like, you, Lisa, would, you yeah. would go to Lisa Ann and be like, hey, listen, like, I'm really, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really crushing on that. this girl. Like, that. do you know, like, if she, like, is she that. clean? Is she cool? Is she fucking with anybody? I read that. And Lisa Ann will just break it all down for you, tell you exactly the deal. I read that. Like, you know, she'll set up a date even. Like, she's literally, like, the matriarch fucking. I heard that. Monster. I heard that. I heard that. The mama, bear. Yeah. the mama bear. The mama bear. The mama bear. She has beef with Nikki Benz. 
Right, like right before she retired, they're beefing over something. That's on Twitter. Over what? What can porn stars beef over? I think Lisa Ann retired because a, one of the porn star director dudes, Jules Jordan, I think. Oh, he was kind of rough with her? No. Like, they had... They either had some projects going to come out or already came out, and she thought she wasn't appropriately paid, Mm -hmm. and he thought she was appropriately paid, and so she didn't want the projects out, and he was going to put them out or already had put them out. Mm -hmm. So they had some dispute over that, neither would budge, and then because of that, or around that time, coincidentally, was when she retired. It might have been because of it. Because she was complaining about that. And then I think Nikki Benz jumped in because she sort of agreed with Jules Jordan, maybe. And then that started another thing. Oh, God. Twitter war? Twitter war. This is all a legend. I'm like not 100%. How about Brie Olsen? That was Charlie Sheen's Charlie Sheen's thing. I didn't even know about her until that. And then I realized she was on uh, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, like one of the early ones. Brie Olsen? Yeah, she was playing a babysitter. Like a really sexual babysitter. She was a babysitter on the show? Yeah. For the kids? Yeah. Brie Olsen, the porn star. 100% look it up. No fucking way. Yeah, because I looked at it and I was like, this chick looks sort of familiar because I watched the early Keeping Up With The Kardashians and then I saw and I was like, oh, because I looked looked into Brie Olsen, Googled her. Yeah. And I was like, Brie Olsen, something, something, Kardashians. like, oh shit, what? She's a Kardashian fan? And I clicked on it. It's like, some, she was, played this chick on one of the shows and I think it's the first season and she plays like oh, a babysitter dude, either way, dude. who's super sexual and like Bruce Jenner's there you know so like damn why is she wearing these short shorts and she's looking fine as hell right but it's definitely her mm-hmm. oh my god so like they hired some porn star to be like that Brie Olsen is fine she's fine she's fine she's like a good dick she's one of the finer ones for sure but the yeah, thing is, she, she looks completely look. different without makeup, though. I've seen her without makeup. She looks completely different. Bad. I mean, no. Not uh, better. Of course not. Um, so does that make her fine? I don't know. She's what, just fine. Is a chick fine if she's only fine with makeup? No, I just think she's fine, probably, because I just have this image of her in my head. Of her body's bit, bad. Fucking bent over the fucking table. I mean, table. yeah. <laughs> like, getting you, you wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't like turn her down to fuck. Dog, you wouldn't turn her down to fuck. No way. But I'll probably this fine meme, banger. this fine like this is actually a question I wondered because like I actually personally think like I'll be like this chick is hot, like meaning like I would definitely fuck. But when you're fine or you're beautiful, or you're gorgeous. Like to get those words, I think you need to be good looking without makeup. Like, beautiful and gorgeous or fine are, like, different than being sexy or fuckable or, or like, there's chicks who are not even that good looking who are sexy and you want to fuck, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm trying to think of something like, right now. There's I, even some actresses that are like that. Who you to like, me, Brittany Murphy was like that. Yeah, like, I don't she think wasn't she was the hottest pretty. girl, but she just had that, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, and you're just like, damn, you're I'm like, wow, you're, you're I think Penelope pie. Cruz is like that. I don't think when you look at Penelope Cruz's face, it's like as aesthetically beautiful as Salma Hayek's face. But Penelope Cruz, you need that. Modern Family. What's the Sofia Vergara? Dude, she's so fun. She's she's that. She's the fucking one right now. Dude, them tits. Oh, oh man. Uh, would you take her or J Lo? Her. Mm. And, oh, over anybody you say, I'm gonna take her. Halle Berry and sort of yeah, yeah, all that. Sofia Vergara, stop. Would you take Sofia Vergara now, or Sofia Vergara? Doesn't even matter. Before doesn't even matter. Now, now, before any. Oh, it doesn't matter. What doesn't even matter. Okay. She's a smoking. So she's she the hottest girl I've ever seen, probably. What? Why are you just talking about her now? You didn't bring her before. I, I completely forgot fine. about her. I so she's hotter than that one blonde chick, Rob, uh, Margot Robbie. Yes. Dude, and she's a mom, too. I know. Dude. This is interesting, bro. Because you switched it up on me right now. Yeah, I completely... I, dude, I just completely forgot about her. You switched it up. Yeah. Like, I thought that your top chick was, like, more of a Russian, Slavic... No, dude, this Latin chick. Oh, God. 
And the accent. Oh, my, the accent just... So, so you took her over Salma Hayek? Yeah. Because yeah, I think yeah. her and Salma are sort of tied. No, no, no. Her, yeah. I would take Sophia any day. Have you seen Salma Hayek in uh, 30 Run? Yeah. You've seen her recently? Salma Hayek, I have. Recently? Yeah, some tabloid shit. You don't, you don't like her? I do, but I'm saying Sofia Vergara takes it on another level. Mm. All right, Dude, well, okay, we should double date. We should double date. And the amazing, amazing. Would you ladies. double date? You take Sofia, I take Salma Hayek. Yeah. Oh man, that date would be awesome. It would probably be the best date. I definitely would not drop the word bitch unless it wasn't a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> even totally doesn't like the way that I talk to people. I don't care. What do you mean? I don't care. You're like, yeah, you say bitch a little much in the last shit. I was like, dude, bitch. <laughs> Listen, bitch. <laughs> I'll tell you if I said bitch too many fucking times. I know when I curse, bitch. Drop I only treat you with respect, Tully. Damn, I... Tully, aka the troll king. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even trust this dude half the time. I used time. to troll my brother so bad. He used to get so pissed. Younger brother? Older brother. Younger brother? Oh, forget about it. I'm like... I'm a cool him, but I let him know the deal too. Like you, he doesn't. Him. Yeah, no, I treat him like uh, treat him like a younger brother. Like but, I'm, I'm his authority. Yeah, but you try to disrespect your older brother. Why can't back, he treat you like the older brother? Back in the day, nah, I never tried to disrespect my older brother. You he, he was just always, yeah, but because you because he was always the fucking annoying one first. Oh, okay. I would never start it. Rarely, rarely would I ever start. Oh, but then you fuck with you, then you just get yourself. Get your bag. Yeah, that's my annoying. Put your paws up. Yeah. Put the paws on that kid a couple of times. <laughs> Listen, Pops. Psh, oh, my God, dude. He once tried to, like... Brother. Oh, yeah, dude. He once tried to fight me, like, really bad. Being the oldest is tough if you take it seriously. Yeah, you took, you took it mad serious. Well, not really. He just had a nerd... Like, a, he would get pissed off easily. I take my shit serious. I wish my... Me and my siblings right now are not alike. At all. At all. Not really. Are you and your siblings alike? Yeah, me and my older brother, yeah. I mean, You're dude, we have well, and some things. Yeah, we like technology, sports. It's like the same shit. Betting me and my online, brother. anything. Oh, okay. Online. So you guys have a lot of similarities. Yeah. Me and my brother, he's young. He's only 13 now. Uh-huh. So it's not like he's really found himself. Yeah. We, have, we like stories and we like movies. That's about it. Nice. The shit that he used to read was like maybe oh, shit that I read. Wait girl with a fat ass, and he's like, "Oh, my brother nice. tries to say he doesn't like girls, but I know he does." Dude, he's about to start fucking. He's about to start masturbating soon. He already is. You sure? Hundred percent. Why you saw his uh, Google history? No, I know when niggas take too long in the bathroom. <laughs> Thirty minutes, little sink waters running. Oh, obviously. I know what you're doing. Yeah. Trying to see if that noodle can shoot some noodle. Yeah. And that's fine, you know. I love my little baby, bro. You gotta do that. I mean, kids, you know. I turn the sink on when out. I don't want to make a lot of noise in the bathroom. Oh, when you're jerking it? Does your shit sound like that when it comes out? Not, like not a all fucking the time. deflated no, Sometimes, but, not, but yeah, but not all the time. Does it sound like. <laughs> no. do, you, do you have a, a, a cum queef ever? Oh. Like you, you, you shoot a load and it queefs? No! What? You fuck. Yo, did you see the South Park where, like, the girls think that farts aren't funny, and the guys do, and then the girls start queefing, and then the guys think it's disgusting, but the girls love it? (laughs) So the girls start queefing all over the place. I've seen a little bit of it. I haven't seen the whole thing. It's fucking hilarious, dude. These South Park guys are genius. That's awesome. Guys guys need to never retire. They might not. Don't they take some seasons off and shit? I don't know. I think they do. What do you mean? Like, South Park doesn't come out every season. They skip mm. some seasons sometimes. You, you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Every now and then people are like, are they, do they renew their contracts? They don't really, like, make any headlines and shit on that. Oh, I forgot to turn on my fucking Wi-Fi, man. What do you mean, doggy? I forgot to turn on my Wi-Fi. Here? Yeah. Why do you need it? We're doing a show. No, I know. But Give me a phone, bro. Just take it. Emails, you know, the iMessage. What? The phone? No. <laughs> I was, I was going to get you a high five, but now I just hit it. <laughs> I was like, dude, you, you want the you phone? You want the man? phone? Like, no, no, this, phone is, this is the thing. This is this is a low-key lonely move. This no. is a ge- low-key lonely gesture. Give me. Give me. This give is? Me, give me. High five. 
So let me see. We're bringing the high five back. Well, dude, I'm like sweating out of my armpits right now. Let's You're sweating before you got here. I didn't want to say anything. Yeah. Do you want me to hit the air? Are you okay? I feel all right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to hit the air? Dude, if you're hot, I'll put the shit on. A little bit. I mean, not really, dude. I'm like, okay. I don't want okay? sweating so much, yeah. Maybe one of those days. That is another. If you want to go shirtless, I mean, I'll just... No, I'm good. I don't, I don't want to scare anybody. I'll just you know, look away. Damn, from the angle I was looking at, I looked so Somalian. I was like, damn, I got a Somalian. Nothing against Somalians. Yo. The pirates. Uh, I was going to say, I was like, I wonder if any Somalian women are hot. But I was like, of course there are. I'm sure there are. Oh man! Beautiful women of all races. Oh yeah, beautiful women from the Uganda. Man, Sofia Vergara, Colombian. So fun. Remember what I said about Colombia? Yeah. Let's go find another one. I'm down. It'd be easy. And they the get that nuzzle. plastic surgery from the family at 16. That means that holy fuck! How would we tell? Wait, what? How would we tell how old the chicks are? Well, look chicks at her, are bir- get- her fucking ID, yeah, yeah, her birth certificate. Yeah, 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 okay. But chicks over there, they get plastic surgery at 16. It's okay, it's fine. Dude, I bet they're smoking hot over there. Yeah, of course. Dude. They already have a good base, and then they get plastic surgery. And what, you just move them here, they live with you, and... Bro, they're gonna go crazy. No, I got a homie who's, who's there, he's, like, starting a business. Mm-hmm. I would just, like, live there for, like, half the year or some shit. And then if she's cool, for, like, six months, like, one of my businesses from here, she's cool... I'll bring her back. Hmm. Maybe a year. I want to see how cool she is. Meet a fan. And, oh, Probably some Spanish. And maybe I wanted like one with like the name Francesca. That's oh, nice. Is that a Spanish name? I don't know. Sounds like Italian or French. Francesca. You probably get one of those names like yeah. Pilar. No, Pilar. <laughs> no. Pilar. Blanca. <laughs> I hate girls named Blanca. Blanca Negra. Blanca. <laughs> oh my Black God. white. <laughs> the girl with the biggest attitude in my high school was... Bianca. Bianca. Oh my god, so annoying. There's this one chick named she Bianca. She's Dominican, like, fat, and oh my god, she used to be so loud and so annoying and so. Obnoxious. If she stopped annoying you, like if you fucked her, no. If if the deal was she'll stop annoying you if you fucked her, would you do it? Yes. You. Sick I guy. probably you have no all of high school. Dude. Give me a phone. Let me call F Dog. All of high school, said. I would have banged my age. Stop. Just leave me alone. I'll give you the D one time, and I'll be quick. Because you were a quick guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> goddamn it! Every time. <laughs> Every time. We should do it seconds. again. We should do I'm it again in a couple hours. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's yeah. okay. Anyone who doesn't last long is a hug good. Oh, this dude, chick, just like Dave Chappelle said, you're just trying to break your best time, you know? This fine chick was telling me what it was like to hook up with the micro dick. I was so shocked. I was just like, how was he? Was he embarrassed of it? She was like, you know, if you know how to do other stuff, it's all good. And she's like, but yeah, I couldn't really move or anything. Like, he pretty much had to do everything. I was like, damn. I don't do well with condoms. Yeah, you I don't said like you, to really, you, you only were rat dog bitches. You're pretty much the dude. No, guy. like, I'd rather have a girlfriend than, like... What? Know. Okay. I never was the one, like, sleep to sleep around. With, like, Did you rat dog F dog yesterday? No. You hit it with the condom? Yeah. Okay. Question. So you don't like to wear... So you want to have a girlfriend long term, so you don't wear the condom. Does she need to be on the pill, obviously? Yeah. Obviously. But like, do you have a get an STD check before you sure. start hitting your yes. rod yeah. And then do you like continue the STD check or just one time? No, 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 just one time. That's exactly what I did before, but I think that may not be that smart. You know, actually, but the thing is, I never rod dog after that because I didn't trust her. Because like if a chick, like I was pretty sure she wanted to lock me down. Or remember, I told you I sort of blackmailed the relationship. Mm-hmm. So I was pretty sure she wanted to lock me down because she was like so like sort of infatuated with me for a long time. So, so I was you're like, really infatuated with guy, did you? I'm just the weirdest dude ever. I'm not infatuated with anything. I appreciate <laughs> it. He's <laughs> a good guy. Good I'm guy, like, VJ. I'm just a different dude, you know? I'm just weird. I'm. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. You're a good guy. You're a good guy, too. Thanks, man. I am a good guy, man. It's good to be a good guy. I've done a lot of fucked up shit, but in general, <laughs> I'm a good guy. Hey, what's your religion? I don't even know if I have one. Okay, but you can just ask for forgiveness and you're good. 
I don't know if I should. Yeah, you know, just admit to your sins. Be like, hey, man. I already admit hey, to him. Jewish carpenter up there. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Forgive What's me. What's up, guy? You help you out know, all these people, man. When I get to the gates, man, just, you know, open up the door for me, big guy. There's never been in my heart any time that I meant anyone any harm. If I did anything that I, when I harmed someone, it was because I just didn't understand mm -hmm. at the time what I was doing. And later on, I re like, I just thought I was right. And then if I cause them harm, it's, I realize that now. We all learn, man. You know, we're not mm -hmm. perfect. I'm trying to grow. The sum of the show, like, sharing experiences and pitfalls. Like, I share a ton of my pitfalls and shit that I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it gets anyone arrested or killed, like, it's on here, you know what I'm saying? It's coming out. A hundred short shows. This is the 30th fucking long show. In total? In total. About, how many about of those? four or five of the short shows make about an hour. That's how I'm going to cut them together. Mm -hmm. So that's, like, 20 more shows. That's, like, 50 fucking shows. How many shows do you think I've been on, like, out of the video ones? I think 17 and 18... Man, was uh, when me and Chidas did the wedding ones because I was just checking those. Mm -hmm. You're right after that, so nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. That's probably one of your your first ones. Mm -hmm. Since then, I think you've been on every single one of the video ones, mm -hmm. and you've been in. A, you were on the first short. No way! Oh, shit. So you've been in no. so many of them. We're like in the car. I started driving. Yeah, driving. Yeah, because I we went in a break that. between the shorts, and we're like, "Why the fuck don't we record?" Oh yeah, that's right. That's that was right. a good one, you know. So yeah. we recorded like twenty minutes of stuff. Uh, it was just like running some. Oh, dude, yo, this is not, this is a lot of material. It's a lot, and it's actually pretty decent. It it even now it's better. Like it flows a lot better now. You know, there's I bet. some empty spots, and we're not like rushing to say stuff because we have plenty of time. And you know, it's weird, like. I'm a good listener, except when I'm on the fucking show. You don't listen. I feel like I don't <laughs> listen as much. So I'm trying, I'm working on it. Yeah, I have a problem. I have but a problem we do, listening It's just because we have, like, these jokes that we're making. It's mostly when we're laughing yeah. and we're just saying stuff. And, like, there's no reason to not have it like that because these are all conversational and they're sort of crazy. The Psycho Show is a great fucking name for the show. Oh, yeah. People have told me that. Yeah. So I'm just like, all right, fuck it. Let's let it go. By the way... We've, we'll check the stats on how many people check out the SoundCloud and shit, or total. Hundreds? It's over, yeah, it's over no 100. No way. Yeah. That's like a classroom filled with people. Classroom filled with people, couple dicks, maybe a couple pussies. Dude. Maybe a couple boats. Yo, wait till you start, uh... Are you gonna get a website? I already have the domain. What's the domain? Psychopisha. Yeah, Psychopisha. No way. Psychopisha.com? Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Just don't have anything built on it. You should just link that to the SoundCloud page for now. Um, there's nothing built on it. So oh. I have everything pointing to the SoundCloud page because oh, that shows, yeah. that gets people more into the content. Mm -hmm. See, what I'm trying to do is build up a certain amount of audience that's sort of regular, right? And that's going to take several months to a year. In that time, I'm going to come out with some products, work on some shirts and stuff, have all that shit ready that, as I want to go. And then finally, when I have the shit, I'll try to start selling some shit. Maybe if it blows up like crazy, we keep going like crazy, we'll get advertisement money, you know? We can shit go like that. fucking walk advertisement around campus money. ask some girls. Like, advertisement hey, man, money, I'm down podcast. to share. You know what I'm saying? Advertisement money, I'm down to share. Yeah. They come through with people and on the shows, we'll, I'll be like, yo, you want to record one of the ads that's going to be on here and just fucking, you know, divvy mm -hmm. up the money, however... You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, dude. I would love to get fucking girls on the sh on show from ASU on the podcast. And how, we can fuck dude, them later. Yeah. Or before. <laughs> or not. Or not even fuck them. No, dude. Yo, we can bring them over here, dude. This chick. Fuck yeah, dude. This yo, chick down. pissed me off just I'll recently. Ask. So we need some more chicks on the show. Yeah. Wait. It's you, always wait. nice to have a girl perspective. Yeah. You said that you know some people you, you want on? Dude, I can, I can totally ask. I mean, it's not going to hurt. Yeah. Or can you find some random girls that... At ASU, just walk around campus. Oh, I don't even mind. Find doing some that. random girls. Like, hey. Wearing our we're shirts. Yeah, hey, we're doing a podcast. Maybe have someone videotape us. Could try us to videotape? Oh, maybe. No, no, no. I'll probably videotape. Yeah. Get yeah, one of the chicks to videotape? Yeah, maybe. I know, but. Or we can just hit up girls on Facebook, too. Dude, there's so many ways. There's so many ways. We just need, like, 
we just need to bring them on one at a time, a couple at a time, because the format, like, with a, an hour and a half, like, we want to have them for a while chatting, so I think we have, like, more than four people on the show, it might Valley. be a little crazy, we have to test it, you know? With two mm-hmm. people, three people, it gets crazy enough. Yeah. But four people, five people, we just got to test it, put it on, because nobody's, like, an experienced broadcaster. Mm-hmm. So we got to get people who can hold a conversation, sort of be a little chill during the pressures of having the mic and being honest and shit, you know? Because mm-hmm. some people, I mean, they just wouldn't be good for the show. But you already know sort of what it takes. Mm-hmm. You definitely know what it takes. Because you know what it's I like to be behind the camps and be behind the mic, you know? Yeah. You've been probably on, like, we'll say, like, 10 shows on the camera mm-hmm. and, like, fucking, like, 40, 50 shows total on audio. Probably more. Probably, like, mm-hmm. 70 if we count all the shorts uh, individually. Mm-hmm. So you sort of know what it takes. Like, you, you sort of understand what I mean when, like, as much as I love Meadow, Meadow may not be the best person on the show. Yeah. You feel me? Like, it's sort of like... Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. Little. <laughs> I take it, like... 100%. You know, Clip does well, but yeah. he's usually fucked up like a motherfucker. Oh, dude, Clip is gonna... Yeah. You know? Tonight, yeah. I'm gonna... Dude, when I go... Like, when I get out of here, I'm gonna go. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna check out what uh, the status is of my house right now, because I think Chris left until, like, later on tonight, mm-hmm. and then... If Clipper's gone too, that means I get the house all to myself. Recording it over there? Yo, we could, yeah. Chill I just gotta shit. see, but I think him and his boy are there. Fuck. It sucks. <laughs> You're not getting any of the alone man cave time. I alone. like being alone, man. Are you still gonna move out? When are you guys gonna move out for this? Yeah, I'm probably gonna move out at the end of the month. Clipper's moving out on the 14th. Doc, you don't have much time. It's the 6th already. Uh, yeah, I know. Shit, man. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> I know. No, but the thing is, yo, there's a lot of subly spots that that like that I can get off Craigslist. Like, there's so much, so much fucking people. Everybody's looking there's for a shit ton of them. Yeah, especially dude. summertime. Everybody's leaving school. I need to figure out buying property or some shit soon. I know, bro. I, I'm probably gonna get a condo or something soon because I guess the prices are going up pretty high. Yo, year. yo, we're going this Monday to the court. Yes, yes. Maricopa County. Yeah, I, I would love to, and I'll, I'll set some time. Um, Monday, Monday, Monday. Okay, I'll be good. That'll work for You'll be good at what, 6.30 in the morning like you are every day? <laughs> sick okay, yeah, that works. <laughs> I'll, see, I'll see you on Snapchat. <laughs> we're, we're waiting at the court. <laughs> I knew they were open I'm, at 9.30. I totally. knew it, we man. need to be the first ones there. I can't waste any time except the three hours before Dude, we showed up. The only time I actually waited something... For something for that long would probably be the Eminem concert at, at Madison Square Garden. I knew you were going to say concert. I was going to say Coachella. Eminem concert? For, I was front row, dude. At Madison Square Garden. I, I got to... I I gave Eminem a pound. I saw Obi yeah. Trice, 50 Cent, you, Lil John. You proof. broke it down. That was fucking sweet. You said that you guys didn't pee for like we didn't pee for mad long I, and we're so thirsty so I thirsty dying and you just we stayed up there until like 45 minutes left the show like we're gonna fucking die I miss Lose out Yourself uh, oh I miss Lose oh. Yourself because that was his like I think Lose final Yourself song. and then no actually yeah that was his final song that was his final song yeah he gave you a pound though <laughs> isn't it nice to touch greatness it, it feels exactly like this Eminem it feels exactly like this just like that Eminem killed it. Loki. 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 He just tossed the bag out to the crowd. Dude, he killed it. He fucking like, came out to. Uh, what's Whoop. that song? Father, please forgive me for I know not what I do. I just never got the chance to meet you. What the fuck is it? Oh, Crazy in Love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, dude. He came out with that. It was insane, oh, yeah. man. What's your favorite Eminem song? Of all time? Top uh, three, top five. Oh, dude. I like, uh, I like Go to Sleep. Okay. That Ja Rule does. Yeah. <laughs> Heaviness. What else? Um, Soldier. Okay. And probably, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna hit you with a, with a nice number three. Um, the song off of his last album, I like the... Relax. No man. Oh, I know the newest. The no, the newest. Yeah, Marshmallow's LP two. 
He has a song on that called Desperation. Dude, that's that is sick. It? I don't even know if Do I you heard know that, that song. One. I don't know if I heard it. Oh my god. I have to check it. It's pretty crazy. It doesn't sound like an Eminem song. I can tell because the album was produced songs. by uh, Rick Rubin. Oh, nice. So the album is more like, it's a lot of drums. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, it's um, rock, kind of. Dr- your shit is mostly from your high school times, huh? Yeah. Same with me. My like shit would be like, Cent. Dan. Dude, when 50 Cent came out, dude, 50 that was the it. hottest thing out, dude. Bro, he came out when I was in high school. 2013. You know, you no, know, t- 2003. I'll, I'm a low-key tell you this. Most of the fights I was in, directly fueled by 50 and 50, Eminem. Like, you know, I can't tell you how many of my homies, like, before we'd go fight or get in a fight. Listen to Back Down? They would literally be like, we yeah. listen to Heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't going um, Back Down. Yeah. <laughs> many men with yeah. death upon me. Yeah, you like get hyped up. <laughs> I'm like, like yeah, I'm gonna fuck these this niggas. Guy. Oh, these niggas, I ain't gonna, <laughs> you gonna fuck me up, nigga? Watch this, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, people people that... would listen to Eminem so much. My, I remember this one dude, he thought he was going to get in a fight. It was sort of pussy, bro. And he's listening to this shit. I'm like, nigga, you listen. I was like, I was like, you really going to listen to this one song on repeat, though? Like, because it wasn't like we're going to big situations. It was just yeah. him and another dude one on one, so I'm sort of clowned him. And this one was like, man, this is why you guys can't fucking pump me. And he sort of started crying a little bit. He was so what? intense. Like, he was like, this is, I fucking need this shit. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck I, I was like, this nigga really oh, about to get in this guy. fight. Sort of crying and ready, like, on this type of tilt. I was like, yo, man, you should probably, like, get a little cooler before you this fight. Otherwise, you're liable to make some mistakes. Just go out with some... All, Jose Aldo type haymakers against Conor McGregor and he was gonna look like this and go pink mm-hmm. <laughs> knock you the fuck out Conor McGregor have you heard about the big news Conor McGregor might fight Floyd Mayweather for a mega fight yeah I saw the it's a rumor I, dude, he's gonna lose man I mean, he's gonna get destroyed dude. I feel like wait Hold you know up. I said that without even thinking about it yo, I don't really... yo might have to pick this up dude yo it's uh, a few minutes. Okay, okay, okay. Go yo, ahead. can I? Yo, can I call you back, homie? Wait, yo, what's up? This is what happens, people. In your room? I go a little light on the phone. No way. I go a little light on the phone rules, and we're back to the same shit. Oh no! I'm sorry, motherfuckers. This is what I brought to you. And I, I have to take some responsibility. Nobody let her out. Because if dude. anyone sees My the bad video. Dog. If anyone sees the video, uh oh, <laughs> dude, I'm uh, sorry. On the on, no, no, on the texting. behalf, I was texting. This thing, I'm, I'm so texting sorry, right man. now. I'm texting right now. Yeah, dude, yo, poor dog probably had to go to the bathroom. Nobody let her out. In Jake's room. Oh my god, the craziest shit just happened right now. Even crazier. Like, oh. This is the dumbest shit of all time. Yo. Dude, I am so sorry, homie. I'm gonna, dude. I'm gonna be back soon, and I'm gonna clean it up. Okay. I can't hear this. Yeah. What? Yeah, we we're recording this. Yo. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Jacob. <laughs> oh man. Sorry, man. Oh yeah, not the shoes, dude. She's a Jewish dog. She, you know, she's not gonna shit on your shoes. Well, she took a mound. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Probably yo. And the funny thing is, I let get off. Okay, yeah. Get All right, off, yo, yeah. I'll, dude. I, just Oh, no. Yo, I'm a, dude. I'm. I'll be back home in like 45 minutes, right? I'll. So s- I'll see you guys there. <laughs> my bad. My my bad. I'll I'll be scrubbing down your room, dude. <laughs> my bad. Okay. God damn. What? So wait, wait, what's, what's happening? What's happening? Nothing. My dog shitting in uh, my shit. roommate's room. Shit all over. Dogs don't shit everywhere. No, nah, she diarrhea. just shit. She just shit. I wonder how much shitty time that was on there. I don't know, but what? What did you say? Oh, what did you want to we got to do something about the phones. And I, I, it was my fault. Too. No, dude, I felt it too. I was like, I felt it. I yeah, like, it was something bad. with the dog. Oh, man. All right, wait, what'd you want to say? So, I just got the most unexpected text message right now. From who? 
So the message I literally got right now, but it must have had to do with the questions or something I asked. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't act like anything happened. Like, I said it with my back to him. Like, I said it was looking like doing some other shit, moving some other shit. It was nothing, okay? This nigga, low-key lonely, just hit me up with a text. Gonna come through tonight? Question mark. What the fuck? I'm about to be like, hold on, I'm literally about to text him with like, uh, why, what's cracking? And hopefully he responds soon because. Uh, Yo, you can go though. Nah, I ain't going, nigga. No, I'm not saying if you, like, if some people need something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. no, of course. No, we, we, I know. we got, we understand that. But that's, I'm not going to go to have any fun or mm-hmm. whatever, you know. Someone needs a ride or someone needs some shit and they're going to throw me some money and I'm not doing anything else. Sure, maybe. But, yeah, I'm probably going to be with you. Yeah. Recording you uh, clean shit up. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. That's... What is going on with your dog, man? Nothing. She just shit in my roommate's room and he just decided to call me and tell me that. Because nobody let her out, dude. What the fuck? I man? thought you said that he was going to let her out. Dude, I texted Chris and he's like, I'm not home. I'll, I'll, I'll be home at nine. Oh my God, he's again? Dude, oh my God. All right, we'll stop this show. What? <laughs> I was like, we can stop this show, I guess. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, oh my God. I got to do it. Yo. Okay. What? I think he accidentally called you. Just hang on, just hang on. Well, this is the fucking... I thought we were having a great show. I know, but dude, I knew something was like, no, dude, I feel it, because, y'all, like, Jake doesn't... He doesn't know how to get along with my dog, and I... Dude, I'm like, he'll definitely just, like, go outside, like, leave the front door open or something. Like, he'll leave... The, you know? Because he's fucked up. He's mad annoying. Like, that's the only reason, bro, because I'm like, my dog is there. If I didn't have, like, my, yeah, yeah, my yeah. best friend there, like, chilling with him... And your dog is not And I don't want to bring my dog here... Even though all she'll do is just lay on the couch. Right. Lay right here, guaranteed. She's not going to do anything else. I mean, you could bring her here. It's not... The, yeah. I could. But, you know, that's the only reason why I would answer my cell phone right now. I mean, can, we couldn't really have her wandering around. Oh, dude, but she's not. Yeah, she's... She I know, she's doing, so chill. She only just went to the bathroom because I knew because no one let her out the past, like... It does get a little warm months. here, though. She won't be able to cool down so easy. Oh, uh, yeah. In the summer. Yeah. It's better for her over there, probably. Because getting hot is hard for them. Like, yeah. I'm sweating right now. Yeah, because dogs don't sweat. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, it's like in the 80s. She'll yeah, survive. it's not bad. I'm but, not sweaty, but it's okay. I mean, I understand. Dude, you're going to move out. Not bad. You're yeah. going to move out, man. It's going to be nothing. A couple weeks, she chills there. It's not a big deal. Yeah, got tw- uh, 24 days. Yeah, I'll... Three weeks. Yeah, dude, you all get a nice spot somewhere. You got to start looking, man. I already did. I already oh, got a place places planned out. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, there's somewhere in Tempe, I guess. Yeah. Dude, you stay on top of your shit. These other knuckleheads don't be doing shit, man. Yeah. I can't believe this nigga hit me with that text. You know what I expect? No response. Or some dumb response. Like, oh, I thought you knew, man. Oh, I just realized the invite didn't go through. Nigga, you guys said to I my just face, told him I'm not coming. He probably... It's weird. Because I just told him I'm not coming. No, what? Maybe he's no, just no, no. It's, I, I'll, we can talk about that, but uh, they're they're good. Yeah. You know, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like it, like when I went there, this shit got handled. You know. Yeah. So, I I don't know what the fuck that's about. I think maybe he like they've been this, his head. They've been planning this shit for like three days already, four days. Oh, like the whole week. And like they just they, they and they let you know what an like, hour an before. hour before. What do you think is the message behind that? The message behind it is... You already probably have something else going on and they just want to be... They just want to throw out the invite knowing you probably won't even come. There you go. Yeah. That's usually what it is. Like, they they get their back by, oh, don't let him plan for it. We'll cover our shit. He'll probably hear about it. Or we won't have to lie about it. We'll just throw him the invite. He's not going to show up unless someone answers the phone right before he comes over. Because mm-hmm. that's what I usually do. Because I don't really trust him. I'm like, yo, you really need the ride? Okay. And then I'll call him like right before I'm coming there. You really need it? I'm going to be there in 15 minutes. Okay. Then I go. Mm-hmm. Because they're the type of person to just be like, stop answering the phone or change their mind on a whim. Or, oh, shit, we're still grilling or we're still smoking. Uh, we're going to need about an extra hour and a half. Okay. 
They don't come, oh, we gotta hit the bank for the money. Do that then. You're not gonna pay me extra to go to the bank. Yeah. So it's like, it's just a whole bunch of hassle, but you know, you do what you can to make money. The, the hustle continues. Yeah. Like, I'm just thinking, like, they literally never let my dog out. Like, if I'm away, Clip would never let my dog out. He literally has never just opened the door like, hey, do you, dog, Has he ever had a pet? No. No, dude, he, dude, he's not, he has no, like... Yeah, so he doesn't view it like you view it. But I don't understand how you cannot open the door for a dog to if, go to the backyard. If you never had a pet, okay? He's already been living here for, since... Yeah, but there's no home. emotional, he doesn't have an emotional connection with her like you do. He has maybe zero emotional connection. Zero. I mean, like, because he, he fucks with her a little bit, you know? Yeah, dude. So, and that's, I mean, like, he just doesn't get dogs. Like, he might, like, he sort of, like, when he makes a joke, like, he'll make it to her. Like, they don't get that. Yeah. They just think that whatever you're doing is threatening. Yo, Belle's gonna fuck him up one day. Well, Dude, maybe. Belle's gonna be like, yo, keep the Belle doesn't him. like him. Belle hates him. Especially when he's blacked out. Bro, like... Seriously. Yeah, dude, yesterday, he wasn't even blacked out yet, but he was trying to move her from the couch, and the way that she acted, I was like, oh, fuck. She, she just had she just looked, look. She just and looked. she just looked at him, like, like all confused and sort of pissed, and then, well, as soon as she decided to go, she went right to her fucking cage. Yeah. Like, didn't, was just pissed. Yeah. Like, didn't even look at you or nothing, was like, fuck this, I'm gonna go here and chill the fuck out. It's funny, dude, my dog is hilarious. She, like, tried to sleep in the bed with me and uh, F-Dog. And I kept kicking her out because I wanted her to sleep on the chair next to my bed. And dude, she just wouldn't do it, dude. She just every time I would kick her off, she would come She's back. She's jealous, and jump though. Up. So jealous. That's why she can't walk at the park with me and uh, with me and Evdo. Yeah, that's why with Evdo. She doesn't know. She's like all confused. Like, hey, why isn't he paying attention to me? By the way, the best part of my day, I hop in the elevator to Look Easy's. Four beautiful Middle Eastern chicks. No way. Yeah, they were all speaking to each other. I didn't know what to say, but some of them were wearing yoga pants and weren't covered up. Fat asses. No way. But it was like, you know, sometimes like fat asses on chicks that don't work out are mm-hmm. sort of the hottest sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, I like the chicks that work out and have them asses. It's so appreciated. Yeah. But the chicks who obviously don't work out, but they have a fucking fat, plump ass. It's sort of fat, but you're just like, like, it's the actual fat it, ass. It's the Middle tissue. Eastern butt. That Middle Eastern butt. Something to it. Something to it. <laughs> the Meb. The Meb. The Middle Eastern. No, the Meb. The Middle med. Eastern, but... Dude, do you think that those phone calls, like, ruin the whole show? No, not at all. If I don't cut it out? I think it's some flavor. I think it's, like, added flavor. Like, yeah, just, I, like, I knew it. Like, it's, like, catching you fucking up the show. Yeah. I just... Well, I know, dude, I, I, like, I know, dude. I know it's I important. know, dude. Like, I just knew that something was... Look, you see how it's only fucking... Dude, right. th- I knew he... There was something up with my dog. I knew it. Yeah. I just knew it. I feel it. This fucking guy. Damn, you knew immediately. I knew I was like... Oh, You're like, God. Clip, holy shit, he's calling me at 6.53. Yeah, like, my dog's out. Definitely. And, like, Chris is not home. My dog... I found that Chris is not home. That's why I texted Chris to let my dog out. I knew I was like, okay, like, let him just, like, take the dog out. Because Chris would. Of course you would. Because he ended, he's at pets. He's a friendly guy. He knows about he's animals. At yeah. Bro, he pretended he was a dog until the age of five, six. Chris? He used to crawl around on all fours. That's awesome. And he said when he came down to do like the bear crawls and like gym, he fucking was raped. the fastest one. Raped everybody. I bet. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. I like doing shit like that. It just can never lets my dog out. That shit pisses me off too. Really? Why ain't never let my dog? Not even once. She's like, here. He just never had a pet, dude. When I was younger. But not once? Before, okay, before I had a pet, I didn't understand what pets needed. I understood dogs. I started getting more, but, like, I didn't understand fully the bond that a person has with a pet. I didn't mm-hmm. understand, like, I could understand a little bit why they'd cry, but not, like, how they would sacrifice other humans they know for their pet. Mm-hmm. But remember, we talked about this recently. Mm-hmm. If there was a fucking person with with a British accent or any accent in freezing water, and it was me and my dog on a one person canoe or a two person thing, but my dog was taking another spot, I'm leaving the person. My dog. Was I'll, I might give. Spot. I might let him give him a line so he can hang off the side and come with us. Yeah. But you stay in the water, nigga. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not sorry, throwing my dude. dog overboard for you. Yeah, fuck that. I know this is my homie, even though he's like only one fifth a man or whatever I want to say. Yeah. This is my homie. Yeah. Even though he, like, whatever. But I never got that before. It was the same like before I had a girlfriend. I didn't understand the pain people went through breakups. Mm-hmm. I didn't understand it. 
I would faint. I would pretend that I feel. I'd be like, oh man, I get it. I get it, yo. Yo, you want to go strip club? Two minutes. Yeah. You, you want to go play basketball? <laughs> the fuck, nigga? Like this nigga just told you he's going through some issues. Like that open to tell you some shit. Like men don't like to tell men about, right? Yeah. The type of shit that we talk about in the show, where men just talk about the bitchiest yeah. shit of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah, men don't even talk about anything emotional these days. No, like, if you get a little emotional, you're automatically. That's gay. what half the shit I'm like. Nah, I would never talk about it unless it's on the show. Yeah, unless it's on the show, I don't give a fuck about the shit. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about Howard Stern's wife, Beth Ostrovsky? Is that her name, Ostrovsky? Ostrovsky. Mm, I don't know what she looks she, like. Dude. Yeah. Howard Stern says he got a little dig. But yeah, I mean, he says it's like five inches. He's always been saying that. Yeah, but he says like five inches, right? Yeah. Or four inches or something. Yeah. From what this chick was telling me, she's like four and five is serviceable. Yeah. And I was like, that sounds sort of small still. Howard always talks about his little penis. It's too but, funny. yo, four, four and five is probably average. Yeah. Five is average, I hear. Yeah, so five is average. I mean, for America, for Africa, it's like eight inches. Nah, it's about the same. Maybe really? like five or six. They only get an extra inch or two. Africa. Do you know why I heard they have big penises? Because back in the day, like where they had like all the tribes in India, right? So the tribe. Okay, so you know India's not you, in Africa. Right? Not in India. Oh my god, not in India. Like in Africa, they okay. had these tribes where like whoever had the lo- like the longest penis would be like the main guy, and they would hang rocks from their dick. To and they walk around to stretch that shit out. They walk around all day like rocks tied to the dick. Are you serious? I heard that. Yeah, I, I remember reading this like specifically. Like that's how just, just tie rocks. So those penis stretching exercises probably work. Yeah, dude. I had a buddy, Jimmy. He used to. Uh, he wasn't that big, so he used to sleep with his like knees over the bed and weights on his ankles, and his feet wouldn't touch the floor because he was kind of short, and. He, I mean, he said it worked, but I don't believe him. I told you about my dad, right? I think I think you told me something. And my dad forced himself to grow six inches doing shit like that. Yeah. He would, like, run four miles a day, every day, on his tiptoes. He would do, like, gymnastic rings, those rings. Mm-hmm. Ring, and he would, like, hang on the shit, stretching his feet down yeah. for, like, a half an hour a day. Stand on his head while stretching his feet up half hour a day. Every motion he did, like, he's going to put, drink this coffee right here, he'd stretch, like, stretch his limbs. And he's like, I just did that for two years straight. And at the end of the two years, in, like, three months, I grew six inches. I see that, yeah. And he was, like, 4'11". He's 5'6". Yeah, yeah. now. I keep telling people, like, yo, li- like, literally, go on the pull-up bar and just hang there. I tell kids that all the time. I'm like, don't even pull yourself up, just hang there. It'll make you stronger, it'll stretch you out. It's going to be very painful. The stretching part is painful. But... You know another thing I heard makes you grow? Um, some doctor told me it's jumping. Because your spine is like elongating mm-hmm. every time you jump. Like you compress it and you oh, go so up. You just and you jump keep jumping as as you and can. your body's sort of stretching. And sort or, of like, or do like helps. box jumps. That's why basketball players, they say like if you have a kid who's playing basketball since a younger, a lot of times they'll grow a little bit taller than they're supposed to. Dude, I want my little brother to play basketball so bad. Yeah, didn't you say he was like seven feet tall? He's gonna be huge. Yeah, you said. Oh, you said he's ten. He's ten. But he looks like he's twelve or thirteen. Yeah, he's a big dude. But he's smart. And he's lazy. I have a video. I'll show you after the thing is done. But yeah, it's like, dude, he's a big kid, man. Hmm. He's not like the size of a ten year old. Hmm. I don't know, man. But yeah, yo, my dad got him Grand Theft Auto. I'm so pissed. I told you. Not my dad. My cousin and my dad let him play that shit, even though I told him not to. Like talk to him today, he goes, Yeah, I beat I beat all the missions. I got so pissed, dude. Nah. Fuck man. Damn. No. You got pissed because you beat him before you did? No, I got pissed because like kids aren't supposed to play that. Like it's bad. (laughs) Cause he has my dad's psych. I can already see it. Psyche? Psyche, yeah. His dad's like Your dad's a killer. No, he's like he's very killer. No, it's very like... <laughs> hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> short circuit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he'll like... He'll get pissed super fast about something. Yeah. Without even thinking it through. Like a little kid crying, you know? Yeah, but... You could take something from that that you just have to learn how to cool it down. Yeah. Like, I'm probably quick to take offense, but I don't care at the same time. But I had to build that I don't care part. 
Like, mm-hmm. I'll quickly tell someone what I think. And be like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about? But I don't care. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to be disrespected. But I want you to know that I fucking know. Like, I only allow disrespect to happen if there, if I have another alibi. Or another reason. Alibi? I was going to say alibi, but really another um, agenda. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I'll take someone's shit if they pay me money. It'll be a certain amount. It won't be everything. There's a certain amount of shit I won't take. But if someone's just being a little rude, a little whatever, yeah, whatever. Give me your money. Get the fuck out. You know? Mm-hmm. Anything. But, you know, I'll do business with people I don't fucking like that much. But we, there has to be some sort of level of respect Mine's even mine. then. You know? Mm-hmm. They can't go all the way to shitty. Dude, I can't believe we've been recording uh, for that long already. It yeah. felt like nothing? It felt like nothing. Kind of. That's when you know you're in the groove. It's a good show. Yeah, right? Dude, that's so funny. My dog shit in his room. <laughs> it is hilarious. He called me. <laughs> He's like, it smells like shit everywhere. <laughs> he said, it smells like shit everywhere? He said, it smells like shit everywhere. I'm like, dog. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let her out once in a while. The fuck? All you gotta do is open the door. You smoke cigarettes all the time anyway. You know what's open funny? Open the door. Like you, you're blaming on him, and he's definitely blaming on you. And the thing is... I'm right. Yeah, you're both right. I mean, it's he technically should. not his responsibility, but he should have how your back. How many kids do anything for that dog? Just open the door once in the eight months. Mo- you know, how many, how many... Okay, five months you live here. Open the door for the dog one time. One You time. know how appreciative your dog would be if he did that? One time. Just one time. Give her a treat one time. Maybe she'll start liking you. He doesn't do that. N- never, not once. Never even thought about it. Belle loves me. I never even opened the door or gave her a treat. Yeah, because she doesn't ask for a lot. <laughs> <laughs> With me, she likes hugs. Yeah. But if you're not a friendo dog, as Larry David says, you got to warm up to her, you know? 100%. Give her a fucking piece of banana or a treat or something. Do you like dogs better than humans? Yeah, probably. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, I like coyotes. I like. I don't like strangers at all. It's human strangers. But sometimes I see coyotes that are not even supposed to be here in the city, and I smile. Yeah. I want to kiss them. Hell yeah. Maybe Dude, I, I love kiss dogs. them because they probably got ticks, but you know. Dude, I want to get a dog called Alibi. I want to get an alibi. Is it just because I, I dropped that word? Go, go, right. What? Is it just because I dropped that word on accident? No. But, like, if you see this dog, uh, like, alibi, uh, it doesn't exist yet. Of course it does. You uh, said, if you get a dog. No, I said, I wish I can get a dog called alibi. But that thing is huge. That alibi. Thing, alibi. Oh, so that's, that's what it's called. That's a type of dog. It's a type of dog. Oh. Huge. It's like I a, thought you were saying alibi. No, like I just but said. the dog is like, called alibi. Now that I think about it, because, dude, I was, like, looking it up. Dude, these dogs are bad. Uh, huge. He brought, it's like one of the biggest dogs. Is this big as a Bora Bull that I was telling you about? Yeah. Remember the Bora Bull? You didn't even believe me how big that shit was. It's clear, probably want to shove it down your throat. What is it? It's Waleed. No, it's a different Waleed. Oh, I was about, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It includes friend Waleed. No. What if you pick it up and he's like, Dude, it smells like shit everywhere. <laughs> you shit on the walls. I bet they cleaned it up, but they put the shit in the actual garbage inside. If they did, I, bro, I, would, be, I would just be like, these guys are idiots. are fucking retarded. They took the shit from inside and then put it inside. Genius. It's so dumb, dude. Why did they Google it? How to clean dog shit? Unless it's diarrhea, it's the easiest thing. The first thing. week she was there at my house, I stepped in her dog shit after waking up in the morning, right in my room. It was the worst. It was the worst thing of ever of all time. It was like six in the morning. It was and cold. I like get up... Was oh. it dry yet or wet? Still? No, it was like wet. And, like, oh, and then no, like no. I slid. And then the worst part is... You fell in it. No, like... I was in such an awkward position that yeah. I had to step on the floor again with that same foot. Oh, and so you spread it a little. I spread it more, dude. I was so Carpet? Mad. Yeah, I was so Oh, mad. I was shit. so, so mad. Resolve it? You resolve it out? Yeah. Took me so long. Jesus, it's the worst, dude. Yeah, Literally. like probably comb the shit out almost. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting. So why didn't you sell the dog then to back to slavery? No, it's not her fault. It's my fault. Shit, a letter out. You shit have let her out. I like that. Shit, a letter out. 
Nice wording there, Tolls. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, buddy. Do you know what it's time for soon? Burning time. What? Yes. Well, how did you know that? Was that what you were about to say? Yeah. We could stop this and then record on the mic on yeah. the phone. Yeah. 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 All right. Anybody here who wants me to slap a uh, Tolly in the face for the next show, just uh, email us at psycho p show <laughs> <laughs> at gmail or hit us on Twitter um, at it's Mr VJ or daily underscore chilling. No, just daily chilling. Oh, daily chilling. I N G. Chilling. I N. Daily chilling. C H I L L I N. Nice. I T S M R V J. Psycho Show, P S Y C H O P S H. Jesus Christ. P S Y C H O P S H O W Psycho Show, also known as the Psycho P Show. T Tolls. No, no, what's your name? T Money Malone. I couldn't remember it right off the bat. T Money Malone. T Money, Money Malone signing Sorry. out. Signing out. And fucking, uh. V V J yeah V J. Do you like Do you like the nickname Brown James Bond? It's the best nickname. Ever. It's nice. Is are you the self proclaimed self proclaimed Brown James Bond? I the like one it. and only. I like it. I like it. <sighs> if you're gonna be the Brown James Bond, it has to be self proclaimed. Who else is gonna put me? Exactly. Unless I get the double i I'll have to be British to even get the double seven MI six fucking license to kill with. Uh, Dude, those motherfuckers are badass, huh? You like the MI6? The MI6? I don't know. I think they're defunct now. I think it's MI5 now. Oh my god, it's all the same shit. I know. What a change of name, guys. It's like KGB, FSB. Yeah. At least FSB shit. is like a couple couple things changed. These niggas changed one number. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> idiots. Don't hire me ever, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting messages all probably from the lonely nigga. Oh, there's only three dudes gonna show up. All the girls are coming. Uh, two of them are gonna feel weird. <laughs> uh, bro, it's okay. I know my gregarious personality can shut down the party, so uh, I'm out. Peace out, people. T Money out! Psycho V out! We are. Alright, yo. We out. What are we gonna do about your phone problems, dog? <laughs>